Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today, I will guide you through your first steps in web development and using Visual Studio 2022. Whether you are completely new to coding or looking to expand your skills, this video will help you get started with creating a simple web project. By the end, you will have a basic web page up and running. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video if you haven't. So first thing first, let's make sure you have Visual Studio 2022 installed. If you haven't, head over to the official web, uh, Visual, web, uh, Visual Studio website and download the latest version. So do, during the installation, select the ASP.NET and web development workload. This ensures you have all the necessary tools for web development. But if you've already installed a Visual Studio, open your Visual Studio installer, click modify. So this, once you click modify, this workload will open. So you gotta make sure that you select ASP.NET and web development. Yeah, so this will help you build uh, web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET, and standard-based web technologies, including HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and whatnot, yeah? So once you select this workload here, yeah, you can look at some installation details here. You can add some optional stuff if you want to. My case, as you can see, I've, I've added a bunch of stuff here. Yeah? So you can, you can select, you can check, you can look at what components that you want to add, check the box, and this will be added to your installation, okay? So once you're done with the, uh, with the Visual Studio installer, let's go ahead and open our Visual Studio. And, and click on new project. So if you if you've been through that steps, yeah, you should get the ASP.NET Core web web apps or razor and razor pages here. So this is a project template for creating an ASP.NET Core application with example ASP.NET Core razor pages content. Okay. So let's select this bit here, click on the next. So here you can configure your project details like the project name. A solution name and the solution location yeah so once you've done with this bit here we go ahead and click on the next so here obviously you can you can configure additional information here yeah, like selecting your uh, .NET framework and whatnot yeah and you can also select the authentication type so let's have a look at this so you can select none for non authentication you can use individual account you can use Microsoft identity platform and the Windows account, okay? You're going to leave it as none, yeah? You can also configure for HTTPS, yeah? You check the box for HTTPS and you uncheck it for just HTTP, okay? And you can enable container support as well, yeah? But we're not gonna look too much into that. So let's go ahead and click on, uh, click create, to create the application. So now that we have the application, or the project created here. Let's go ahead and look at the, um, the project structure here. Yeah? So let's look, have a look at some key folders. First of all, let's look at the www root folder. Yeah. So the www root folder, this is where um, all your static files like CSS, JavaScript, and images go. Yeah. So let's open it. Let's expand it. So as you can see, here, we've got CSS, JS for JavaScript and libraries yeah like bootstrap and jquery and whatnot yeah and we've also got our fave icon here as well yeah so let's go ahead and open the pages as well so the the, the page um, the pages folder contains your razor um, pages yeah which has the CSS HTML extension file yeah for your web app okay so if we look at it we've got a bunch of um, uh, files yeah in this CSS, HTML, and whatnot. Yeah, we're not gonna look too much into that for now. Yeah. So once we are done with this bit, yeah, let's have a look at what's inside the properties folder as well. So we've got the launch settings. Yeah, this contains um, the configuration for, for launching our project. Yeah, like the profile, the schemas, and whatnot. Like and where the application URI. And a whole bunch of configurations that you can take your time and have a look at it properly, okay? So we're going to leave it here as it is and we'll go on to the next bit, okay? 
So let's go back to our WW folder and the CSS. So we've got um, a basic um, CSS, I mean CSS file created for us, which contain our HTML and whatnot. Yeah. So you can take your time and have a look at it properly and, and see if you can make some changes as well. Okay. And then this is what we're going to do. First of all, let's have a, let's also have a look at a program.cs. So the program.cs sets our configurations and how our um, the, uh, the application will behave. Yeah. So we've got a bunch of stuff like um, use HTTPS redirection, use static files, which is the which is the WW folder. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of things. Use um, authorization, use uh, a map razor pages and whatnot. Okay, we're not gonna look too much into that. So the next bit is let's look at um, running our project here. So to see our web app in actions, you can click on this green button here, um, and this will actually start with our debugging. Okay, or we can select this. And look at how we want our applications our application to, to debug here. Yeah? So we can select HTTP, HTTPS, IS, Express, WSL, and whatnot. Yeah. So this is where we have our web browser. So here we can select our Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Microsoft Edge. So whatever that you want to use, you can go ahead and use it. And here we can then um, script debugging is disabled. But we can go ahead and enable it so that we can that we can debug the script. Yeah, so let's go ahead and enable it. So if we put it here, so we can see start with our debugging. This control F5, or we can click on this to to start debugging. So let's go ahead and click on this. And there you have it. You've just created and run your first web project in Visual Studio 2022. Yeah. So this is just the beginning. So from here, you can explore more advanced topics like JavaScript, backend development with ASP.NET Core, and much more, okay? So please take your time. You can explore further. And please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to the channel because I have lots of videos coming up, yeah? So I hope you have a lovely morning evening, afternoon, wherever you are, peace.